Let's define our own function to help us program a karaoke machine. We want to print out the lines of a song and group together the lines for the chorus in a function so that we can easily repeat it. Here's the print code for the chorus of the Blondie song Heart of Glass that we wanted to repeat. Now let's actually write out the function definition for printing this chorus. We'll write the words public, void, and then the name of our function. The name of a function can be anything, and we'll call this one chorus with empty parentheses. And finally, we'll surround the code we want to execute, these four print lines, in curly braces. And this completes our function definition for chorus. The start of this function looks like the start of the println function we've seen before, with the words public and void. These starting words may seem a bit confusing at first, so let's go through what we just wrote piece by piece. The first thing we wrote was public. Java functions always start out with a word like public or private, and this is called an access modifier. And public tells our computer that anyone can access this function. We'll learn more about this later when we talk about objects, so for now just know that it's included at the start of a function. The next thing we wrote was the word void, and this is something called a return type. And void just means that this function is not returning any data. Some functions perform calculations, and we'll want them to return a final result, or a final piece of data to us. And then this word void will change to something else. But for functions that simply perform actions, like printing text, we aren't forming a new result, and we don't expect to return anything. And we'll learn more about return types soon, so don't worry about this too much. After void, we just have the name of our function, chorus, followed by empty parentheses which is how we can refer to and call our function. And finally, we have the block of code that our function contains. It contains the printed lyrics code by surrounding it with curly braces. This is similar to how our if statements contain code inside braces. Now every time this function chorus is called, this block of code will be executed. And these are all the components of a function definition. Our next step after defining this function will be to use it by calling the function, which we'll see next.